this so far has been a very pretty game, enjoyable, if not a little frustrating if you've seen the first episode. So let's let's just top a very frustrating day off with a frustrating <laughs> game. Uh, anyway, <laughs> let's get going. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. I think I read all of this on the shipping label address. A warehouse on the docks of the island of Darkwater. The place seems to be a starting point for Pierce's... In yeah, we read that already in the last video. I also decided to wear a very uh, Lovecraft-esque outfit. Very uh, 1920s looking like our, our main hero here, so... Ugh. Keep on brand. Enter madness. That's how it's done. Do I still need to hold your hand? Or do you think you'll get by on your own now? Don't overdo it. Good. In that case, I'll leave you. I've done enough mothering for now. Alrighty. It is kind of dark here, so let us see. Oh, this place stinks. It's never a good... What is the connection between this place and the Sarah Hawkins case? Reconstruction. To enter a reconstruction scene, hold either the left or the right mouse click. Search the warehouse. So it seems like I'm supposed to be trying to find clues and then reconstruct what might have happened here is the gist that I am getting so far. Ooh. Charming. To enter reconstruction. Hold. Oh, both of them? Ah. Did I do it right? Did I do it right? Oh, I did. Can't sleep. I know how that feels. Le Petit Parisien. Who might keep a news clipping about Sarah Hawkins? Somebody that is interested. So, uh, Sarah and Charles met in Paris, so that's interesting. Hey. <sighs> He's gross. Why is that a brain? Ooh. The glass is shattered, like someone smashed it. Was it before or after the removal of these bandages? I have a bad feeling. I have a very bad feeling. What did Charles get into? Because in the portrait that she drew, uh, it's just a mother and her child, and then some eldritch thing coming out of nowhere. So I am wondering. We're picking things up. What is this picture of Charles and Sarah Hawkins doing here? <laughs> Ooh, occult knowledge. Give me. Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings? To leave reconstruction. Alrighty. I gained one cred point. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Clues. What is this? Hawkins Warehouse, officially unused since Charles Hawkins' death. This warehouse recently housed a clandestine resident. Signs of life attest to the fact that the presence of a bloodstained bandage or bandages must also be noted, probably removed from a wound. No. As well as pills, painkillers, and sleeping pills. Moreover, the occupant seems to be obsessed with Sarah Hawkins, as attested by the presence of several documents connected to the artist's life, photograph, press cutting. But it is the discovery of a partly charred painting recognized by Officer Bradley as having come from the Hawkins mansion that allows all doubts to be lifted as to the link between the contents of this building and the Hawkins case. Okay. 
Oh, cat. Cat's 24 and already a gang boss? What? Good for her. <sighs> it's hard watching other people live your dreams. Boss of a gang of bootleggers, which seems to use dark water as a hideout. Cat always keeps an eye on her territory. The zone of abandoned warehouses on the docks. I have the impression that all the men on dark water fear her. Even Mitchell, the owner of the stranded whale, is reluctant to talk about her. She uses dark water as the point of departure for her cargoes of whiskey, and she's slowly gnawing away at the Captain Fitzroy's territory. Ooh, I got two cred points here. I have learned my lesson, or have I? Because I thought one of these only needed two more. Oh, well, eloquence only needs... Oh, I'm a fool. Okay. And... Yeah. I've still got nothing on occultism, and I don't know how I feel about that. I must know more. I must know more. Hello. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? So we've got reconstructionist stuff here. So is that all I needed to find here? Because then I would have wasted so much time. Uh, someone has settled in here. And whoever it is has something to tell me about the Hawkins case. Is there anyone in there? Yo! Don't move! Detective Pierce, I told you to stay away from this warehouse. Look around you. Someone has settled in here. Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange poetry. Wait, I know it. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene? Interesting. Yeah. I'd like to go and see the mansion now. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? <sighs> I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Come on. My car is parked down the way. It's the car parked. Andrews, would you please shut the door? And open your eyes, damn it. This guy went right under your nose. Not really. God damn it. Her again. This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. Why you? Come on, <laughs> keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion now? I thought I'd straightened you out, mister. I am disappointed, but we'll meet again. Is it far, this mansion? Look behind you, at the top of the ridge. You see the building? That's the Hawkins mansion. Come on, we got some driving to do. I don't know if I pissed off Cat or what I did. Uh, Pierce managed to get into the warehouse. The place, thought to be abandoned, uh, revealed some surprises. Signs of recent occupants, uh, partly charred painting, interrupted. And in Oh, I have enough time to actually read it. Okay. Pierce managed to get into the warehouse. The place, thought to be abandoned, uh, revealed some surprises. Signs of recent occupation, as well as a partly charred painting. Interrupted in his searching by Officer Bradley, Pierce convinced him to join his investigation. The police officer is willing to drive the detective to the Hawkins mansion. Chapter three. Chapter three. It's still a very pretty game. breathing well 
here we are, Hawkins Mansion. The place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. Old Winchester, I love it. Uh, you're not the first to talk about Winchester. Anything I should be wary of. Let's not waste time. I thought the mansion was burnt in the fire. Uh, this place is falling into ruin. You know the place very well. Um, either investigation or spot hidden. Um, how about I thought the mansion burnt in the fire? I see no scorched trees or fire damage on the building. You're pretty damn observant, ain't you? The fire was quickly contained. Old Silas acted as soon as he could. Not soon enough to save the Hawkins. They were trapped in the drawing room. And don't go troubling Silas anymore. His guilt torments him enough as it is. Hmm. Are we gonna take a closer look at this mansion, or do you have other questions? I have other questions. How about, uh, you know the place very well. You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Anything else? Um, you're not the first to talk about Winchester, so they've talked about Silas Your before. Your partner, Andrews, warned me against him. You managed to get something out of that bomb? I'll end up asking you for advice. He talks too much. He inferred that old Silas was slightly unhinged. That's not far off the mark, I suppose. But kinda unfair at the same time. You know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family. So he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way he's still watching over them. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there? I'm wondering if they're as dead as they say they are. Um, anything I should be weary of? Let's not waste any time. This place is falling to, like, anything I, I prefer should... to be prepared if there's going to be trouble. It's a wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. Could he be a problem? Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Though, he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee, if you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go. Right? But an eldritch horror worries me. You won't get me to believe that it looked any better three months ago. It's a very old building, you know? Its foundations would probably date from the arrival of the first settlers. It's got nothing to do with Charles Hawkins' debts. Ha! Huh. You've already begun to nose around, it would seem. So, since you already know it, the Hawkins family couldn't afford the upkeep of this house. It remains to be seen what they did with all their money. I wager it was Charles Hawkins' travels. Let's go up there. Unless you still have questions. I have some weird feelings about this. Night Let's falls go. quickly here. And I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you. If only to reassure Silas. Why not? You can help. Right. Let's go. Well, if he ends up dying instead of me, I'm okay with that. That sounded really heartless. I'm sorry about that, guys. That was not what I meant. I I mean, I just have weird feelings about the residents of this island. It's one of the sad things that I wish they would fix in some of these games is like the pacing of the main character versus like the NPCs that they have to follow behind. I understand like if you wait too long, you gotta keep up, but I get annoyed with how I gotta 
hit it to move forward like 50 times. Um, what do we got here? Oh no. Poor kid. Simon. Ooh, what's this? Oh, what did I do? Charles Hawkins' grave. Who could have done this? I told you. Silas Winchester is still watching over the Hawkins family. I must say, it's pretty gloomy. So, detective. Does this place inspire any thoughts? Why were they buried here? I was given to believe that it was Charles Hawkins' wish. Strange idea. I imagine Webster wasn't too pleased. Mrs. Hawkins' father? It's said that he's devastated. Let's go to the mansion. Please give me a minute. I didn't expect to set foot back here after the burial. What kind of deranged individual would defile this sanctuary? And steal a burnt painting? I don't see Silas doing such a thing. Let alone allowing it. Even that broad baker is above that. Lord, have pity on this poor family. Depends on what god you're talking to. It is weird that he's like, well, Silas is the one watching over everything, but Charles is basically got all of this debris around his grave. What is going on? Was he not, not liked? Was he not liked at all? The flowers on Sarah Hawkins' grave are fresh. And somebody was obsessed with her. I'm wondering if Silas lost his mind or was... They, they called him... Well, it's entirely possible. Somebody was obsessed with her. Oh, uh, hmm. Hmm, ha ha. Reach Hawkins Manor. Which way did I go? That's the way we came. Okay, there's the house. I know it's kind of hard to hear, um, probably for you guys, but like, there's like the heartbeat thumping, and in these headphones, it sounds really cool. So, Bradley was right. This place is much older than I imagined, but the architecture seems too recent. So they did expansions. Sixteen ninety three. Game saved. I'm waiting for the crazy old man to jump out at me. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. It up. I'll have to find another entrance. There goes the direct route. What's going on up here? Outside the sitting area. This entrance is still in use. Whoa! Whoa. There it is. You were trying to force the door, you nosy prick! Easy, sir, all right? Put down the axe. You know what we do with rubble like you? We gut them. Dump them into the ocean. Whoa! Uh, uh. You're... Mr. Winchester, lower that axe. Let's talk calmly. I'll show you how we have it out on dark water. Uh, oh god. Uh, I hate when it's time. Grab his axe. Um. Ah! 
I deserve that. What do you think you're doing? So talk, and no baloney. The police report describes a domestic accident. But Stephen Webster has several reasons to believe that this may not be the case. Webster is as stubborn as an old mule. And I did tell him that we should let the dead rest in peace. He wants to restore the reputation of his daughter. I just need to see where the fire started. The mansion isn't safe. You would break your neck as sure as you're trying my patience right now. That's why you barricaded the entrance. That's right. And this door? It's locked. And I make sure it stays that way. Huh. You want to get rid of me? Uh, versus you shouldn't really need this. No thing. one lives in the mansion, and you don't take care of it anymore. If you have a good reason to be here, I'm listening. There's vermin. I keep an eye out. Vermin? Yeah, that's it. Vermin. Right. This is what we're going to do. I go inside, and I promise that I'll hunt vermin. Okay with you? Uh, I'm not sure. If there's nothing else to fear, you can give me that key. Uh, right. Take the key and do what you have to do. Go on, then. Just to get rid of you. Let's see what more I can learn from this mansion. Okay, so grabbing the axe was probably not the best idea, especially because I'm not that strong. Um... And I haven't been buffing that up, and I should. I should! Why do I keep doing that? Because I always, I always play... <laughs> rogues! Pierce, shall we Anna? Shall we Anna? He's gonna die. I just, I have a feeling. I have a feeling. Alright. Let's take a look inside. I'm with you. Okay, we've read that already. Chapter 3, Hawkins Mansion. It's pretty. I wish I had a library like that. This place is going to be full of some Lovecraftian horror, and I just, I feel it in my bones. Enter madness. Follow me. I know the place. Who left this light on? Okay, okay. Find the fire scene. Who left this light on? Nobody good. The Last Supper of the Hawkins. What does this tell me? Alright. I like the icicle kind of fade. It's very cool for like a flashback. Alright. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Some nasty ass fish. I don't like it. I don't. I don't like it. Somebody had a toy. To enter reconstruction scene. I did that. Oh. Interesting. Keeps showing um, Sarah and Simon. Sarah Hawkins painted herself with her son, Simon, ready to go somewhere, but without Charles. Interesting, interesting. Trouble in paradise? There's always trouble in paradise. Tell me why Cheeseburger in Paradise suddenly popped into my Oh no! <laughs> why? This is that is not appropriate timing in any way. Uh, that was basically it. Let's see if I can find something the cops missed. Okay, so I gained a point of a thing. Uh, and then, and then, and then, and then. I gotta use them. I have a feeling. I gotta use them. I'm one away. Oh, I got two. I need six. Six. Alright, 
That works for me. I gotta really buff up that strength. Um, let us... Yes. I keep trying to do things, and I haven't... Oopsies. Okay. Interesting. Silas managed to bring the fire under control, but it was already too late for the Hawkins. Did I enter or did I exit? Looks like I entered. We've got me. The child's corpse left a trace. Where are the others? That poor baby! They had a fight. Why? I love this. I love the reconstruction thing. This is awesome. But also horrifying. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Is there anything? It keeps blinking, so that means that there is more to be found. Just able to find it. Did it stop at the time of the fire? Okay. What is that? It's green. Can I click on. <laughs> oh! Oh, gross! <laughs> it feels like they're skeleton. Oh, no! No, thank you. am I missing? Tell me more, tell me more. Oh, there we go. If the painting I found on the docks really came from here, how come it didn't burn? Ah, bad, bad vibes, bad vibes. Was Charles Hawkins a heavy drinker? I'm guessing. Because again, guys, this is Lovecraft. Uh, did he promise his family to some eldritch horror? Did someone escape the fire? To leave reconstruction. It's still blinking, though. Blood. This lamp was thrown. This was no accident. This was a fight. Someone fell here. Desperate attempt to flee. Huh. And the boy. So, detective, what do you make of it? official that the police botched this finish. <laughs> Should I really say that? The clues don't match. The fire was ju wasn't just an accident. That seems like the most gentle answer. I firmly believe this fire was more than just an accident. Huh. What's your theory? I don't trust him. The couple had a fight. This is arson. This is a crime of passion. I suspect a crime of passion. You sure of that? There's only one way to be sure. I earned another character point once again. I just, let's bulk up this bad boy. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so scared. I'm so scared, I'm so scared. Okay. 
I just ask that you don't disturb anything. If Chief West found out about what we're doing, I'd be in serious trouble. Sorry, I just think I saw some an eagle outside. That was pretty cool. Uh, so he's not even the police chief? Who am I dealing with? What? what the hell was that, whale boy? What is this? Okay, I can only enter investigate mode, apparently, or reconstruction mode when it prompts me to. History of medicine got even more. Uh, this collection of medical knowledge, even more medical knowledge. I'm just a genius in the medical field. Jay, how's it looking? Or maybe not. <laughs> we'll get there. Escape. Did it say that I could do reconstruction mode? I hate everything about what that was. I hate it. I hate it. These bandages are covered in dried blood. The same bandages that I saw in the warehouse on the docks. Is Charles alive? And given the blood stains, I'd also say that it's the same person. Is Charles alive? Did he become a monster? I see the blinky thing telling me to find stuff. <sighs> this door is blocked from the outside. Hmm. What was it? No! Don't eat me, don't eat me, don't eat me. Don't eat me. The lyrics of the drunken sailor. The sea shanty. Why would you have that written down? What do we do with a drunken sailor? What do we do with a drunken sailor? Oh. Okay. I'm scared. An original edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Dated 1818. That's a nice touch. And then the thing disappeared. Oh, oh no. Oh no. All I'm thinking is, um... Gosh. The one where they were bringing guys back to life. I can't remember the H.P. Lovecraft story name. What is that? What is that? What is that? No. No spoopy sounds. No. No, no. Creepy. This piano is in disrepair. Looks like the Hawkins kept it more for decoration than for music. That's unfortunate. Ooh. Hmm. Moby Dick, Melville's classic. The epic battle between man and whale. Mandatory reading for any whaler, I guess. Hmm. So is talk to him, right? Or is it just What do you know about Charles Hawkins' activities? Well, not much, to be honest. We all assumed the Hawkins lived on Charles's inheritance. Oh, he's walking. 
That does not seem to be the case. A comparative analysis of the human body. More medical? Yes! Yes! Mwahaha! <laughs> and yet no occult knowledge. I gotta remember how to how to run. I haven't needed too much yet. That bad. That bad. I turned it on. <sighs> Greek mythology. Hecate, goddess of the dead, daughter of Tartarus, and mother of Scylla. What? I mean, it, it's technically not 100% correct, but... Thanks, I hate it. Um, let's see here. But the fact that it ties into the Scylla... A book on hunting whales. The island's staple diet last century. No, nothing. Mm hmm, hmm, interesting. There's something disturbing about this painting. There's something disturbing about all of these paintings. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Another story about the mysteries of the deep. So it's a library with a lot of classics. I'm not seeing how it's super useful yet. What could Sarah have done to make this person threaten to call the police? Dear sir, as you know, I've always held you and your family in high respect. Unfortunately, I can no longer continue to close my eyes on the behavior of your wife. Last week, again, terrify, uh, last week she again terrified my clientele. I know that she means no harm, but you should place her in the care of, a do of Dr. Fuller. He alone seems to be able to make her come to her senses. If these disturbances were to reoccur, believe me that although it would feel like torture, I would be obliged to involve, obligated to involve the police. Respectfully yours, Anton Wellard. So it's weird that Charles is giving me a vibe, but... It seems that Sarah was being disturbing. What was that? What was that? Where's Mr. Copman? Where did he go? Guys, rats. Lots of blank canvases. What's over here? Ooh. Ooh, things in here. It's a playroom of some kind. The boys' room. child's fort. From what threat was Simon protecting his world? Can I walk closer to it? Probably just around the side of the bed. Tom Sawyer. Mark Twain. 
Sarah must have read it to him before bed. Sleeping pills. Strong for an 11-year-old boy. Not what good. was wrong with this family? Yeah, I don't know. This is not good. Oh, no. Ah. What nightmarish vision could have inspired them? Simon's troubles went beyond family problems. That kid saw something. Something terrified him. Still saying that there's more like clues. I'm not seeing where. There? There we go. The argument that led to their tragic end seems to have been simmering for some time. Simon's private journal. He seemed worried about his mother and her attacks. Tension also seemed to be growing between the Hawkins couple. Could the fire be the result of an argument? Ah! Uh, foot footsteps not mine. Footsteps not mine. Oh. Eh. Icky, 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 icky. Ooh. I don't like it. Ooh. Key opens the door to Sarah Hawkins' office was concealed. What will her room reveal about her? They have separate rooms. I mean, it's fine to each their own, but like. Barbiturates. Sarah Hawkins must have been extremely agitated resorting to such a treatment. Barbiturates, they act as a depressant of the nervous system, but once you begin, you can never live without them. Of that, I know something. I also learned something about our main character. Apparently, he's addicted to barbiturates. <laughs> Hello, 1920s. This is fine, guys. What's she reading? Oh, I'm so scared. Didn't you have a key? This padlock is too complicated for me. Didn't you have a key? It's no use. The padlock won't give. Is there more than one key? Inventory. Key. Inspect. That one. Key to the trademan's entrance. Yeah, we used that. So I guess there's a different key that I gotta find somewhere. Because the last one opened right away. Didn't know they could pick locks either. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. This door is locked. Uh, okay. This door is locked. Yeah, once again, we have keys. What? In the name of love. Before you break my heart, stop him in the name of love. What's happening? That one's locked as well, but... There we go. There we go. Nope! 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 Bad. Bad, bad, bad juju. Bad juju. What? 
Oh no. Well, they don't call it Call of Cthulhu for nothing. Oh my god. Was Sarah Hawkins interested in the occult? What was she trying to achieve? Uh. Nothing good. <laughs> oh, I gotta be able to light it, right? Back up. Back up, back up. This ledger lists all of the paintings Sarah Hawkins sold. That's quite a bit of money from the 1920s. People are really paying for these monster pictures. Painting for ADFS, Dr. F. Gift. Edward Pierce. Okay, what I had just said. January to April, May to August. Interesting. It seems the last one was given for free to a Francis Sanders. I wonder why. Uh, you know, he just leads a cult down the street. Why would you just give me something that I can't even use? Despite what happened, they seem to have loved each other. Fate brought us together, and forever it will sh uh, it will bind us. Charles Hawkins scribbled a kind word to his wife. So why would two people who love each other very much literally light somebody on fire? <laughs> Don't answer that, guys. It's incriminating. The door is blocked on the other side. I'm guessing it is all part of the same setup here. Bradley. Is that you? That is not Bradley. I know it's not Bradley. I know it's not. This is bad. This is bad. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. This is awful. Why? Why God? Why God is the door open? No. No. I am going to white people this thing and walk right into it, but I- why? Oh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Wish. No! Is anyone there? Oh. I don't like it. I'm very scared. Is that me? Is that me? Coldest. That- oh, oh, shoot! Stop! Uh Okay. Great. Catch the thief. I'm trying to move forward here. This is how you run? This is you running? Catch the thief. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where he went. There's only one way to go. It's you! I heard running in this corridor. There's an intruder in the house. It was him. You may switch from one light source to another. This dude doesn't move too fast, I will say that. Right now. The lyrics of the drunken sailor. I got that. Shanty. Yes, okay. Where did he go?
This door was closed earlier. Great. Woohoo! Oh. Where did he go? Must have got out some way. No, no, he was here. I'm sure. Let's search this room. Here we go. Seems like this came from a log. Sailor's Log Book, Monday, 24th of May, 1847. Uh, 42 degrees north, 70 degrees west. Darkwater Island. We sailed north all morning. Captain Hamilton is confident. He says that we'll beat the Orpheus this season. May God be merciful. Sunday, the 30th of May, 1847. 47 degrees north, 55 degrees west. I preferred it when the whales disappeared without a trace. With uh, these carcasses, we can no longer ignore their sad fate. What is eating these huge beasts? I told Hamilton that it was a bad omen. He doesn't care. Uh, Tuesday, the 1st of June, 1847. 49 degrees north, 61 degrees west. We dropped anchor near a village. The inhabitants say that the waters are red with the blood of the sacred beasts. And to follow them is to defy the gods. I told them that I only feared God Almighty, but in the loneliness of the hold, I'm scared. Uh, join the club. Uh, Friday, the 4th of June, 1847, 57 degrees north, 51 degrees west. We have sighted a huge whale in the distance. Its size seems to be beyond anything known to man. It sends out an infernal song. Hamilton wants it. Uh, Wednesday, 23rd of June, 1847, 33 degrees north, 53 degrees west. We've caught it. It's the most grotesque whale I've ever laid eyes upon. It will go into memory as the biggest catch ever. Men have died, but we've gained glory. This day will be celebrated for years to come. They ate Cthulhu. <laughs> they have done horrible things. Tuesday, the 29th. June 1847, dark water. We've beaten the Orpheus, returned with empty holds. Uh, the Scylla and Hamilton are only memories. What? We've beaten the Orpheus, returned with empty holds. So the Orpheus, the Scylla and Hamilton are only memories. That's interesting oh my god oh my god oh it's a door it's a door because I've seen enough of these and I'm a genius as if the bookcase has been moved several times it's a door it's a door I know it's a door give me answers door This globe seems to have been part of some mechanism. That opens the door. Enter next puzzle. So how do I move it and what do I move it to? I'm guessing. No, then let's try where they met. No? Validate. E to validate. Can't go, that's a little high. <laughs> Doesn't work. I must have missed something. Yeah. What do I... So, we found the... I'm guessing that there's either... A hint somewhere back here? Doesn't work. I must have missed something. Excuse me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. It looks like an old seaway map. Can I zoom in? 33 degrees north. 
53 degrees west. I'm guessing? Because that's in the biggest. 33 degrees north. 53 Looks degrees. like the navigational paths described in the log. Yeah. It does, doesn't it? Did I get the thing on the couch? There must be a link with the seaway map. Yeah. 3353. And this is why people don't take me to escape rooms. I get it too quickly because I'm a genius. 53. That's 45. That's rude. I'm trying to think here. Looks like it worked. Oh! Who is good, da? Well done, Pierce. This is not any better. Chapter 4. Inside the Hawkins mansion, the scene of the fire revealed its secrets. Pierce and Officer Bradley, now on the trail of a survivor, had taken to search the place looking for proof. When a hooded man leapt into Sarah Hawkins' workshop to steal a painting, detective and police officer set after him by following him to the office of Charles Hawkins. They discovered a secret passage. Pierce and Bradley enter the tunnel under the mansion. A secret passage under the manor. It's like a detective novel. That guy must have already gotten far. Yeah, and he had a direct means of entry to the crime scene. We must find him. What is this place? It's more than just a tunnel. Look, someone's been here recently. Three seats. <laughs> Did Charles Hawkins use this place? Who were the others? Oh my god, the faceless men. Oh no! It's a lot. Did Charles Hawkins hide something in this chest? Yeah, probably. What is going on here? That is not good. What is this mask supposed to represent? Oh, hi. And you are, sir? Charles Hawkins hid something in the chest. Okay. Is that it? No, it's not it. This piece of cloth is unmistakably from a dress. Was Sarah Hawkins here? Found out about her husband's secret dealings with uh, some very bad people. That's the vibe I'm getting. I want whatever is in there. This symbol. What does it mean? I don't know, but I don't like it. Yay! I got an occultism, finally. Finally. Okay, we're gonna light up that thing. A disfigured saint. What does it mean? Hang on a minute. Yeah. 
Yes, let us go further into the deep, dark hole. Something keeps flashing on the side of the screen, and I don't know if I'm supposed to be following that. I don't think I'll be able to open this. Of course. And something tells me that the key is climbing these steps. Yeah. There's tunnels all over this island. Given the size of this cave, there's got to be other entrances. The passage continues further down. Might as well start with that. I ain't gonna squeeze in there. I'll find another way. If possible, I prefer not to ruin my uniform. Are fine, you... fine. Go look for another entrance. I'll try my luck down below. <sighs> Lot of help you've done. Oh, that turns it up brighter and I run out of more oil. So how do I keep that up? Oh, I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it. I just don't. Some kind of dream catcher. If I touch it, it'll turn to dust. Hmm. I have a feeling it'll be like, you know, put that thing back where I came from or so help me vibes. So we do not touch things. Okay, the thieves trail set. Let's go to the main cave. Is this the main cave? Is it saying I should jump? Oh. Ooh. Well, I went to the main cave. Can I open this? Now? Thief has painting. Chances are it's probably another faceless dude, but hey, you know, whatever. Time has weakened these structures. So all that means is that I will likely be falling through some broken boards later. I don't have time to search them all. For now. Hmm, oh, ominous green flame bowl. What should we cook in, guys? Uh, I hate it, 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 I hate it. I hate it. I... What's going on here? Hate it. I hate it. Piers! Keep your voice down. We're not alone. He's gonna die. God. What have you got me into? Occult activities? We'll see. I'll go on. Try to go down on your side. Yeah, th there's a passage. I'll meet you at the bottom. Hey, guys. Uh, we're here for the cult stuff? Go. I'm so uncomfortable. 
I'm so uncomfortable. Oh, it's right there. Sacrifice to a tentacle monster. Okay. Oh, wow. Ooey gooey. Ooey gooey. Oh, this is gonna get noisy, I have a feeling. Oh no. Okay, it's just wet rock. Hey, guys! It's me! It's me! <laughs> this is a picture of me! Oh, no! <laughs> this is a picture of me! I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. This is awful. I hate it. Game saved! Game saved! A mass grave. Engraved whalebone. A strange creature has been carved into it. Probably a figure of worship. Mm. What? What in the mountains of madness? What in the unholy mountains of madness? Locked. I guess that might be a good thing. Do I jump down? Is there. It's all. It's all tentacly. It is all tentacly. Here? A table for sacrifice? What sacrifice to you? Like there's a there's a painting of you and we're just going to blow past that like it's not a big deal? The, the, the dream, the dream, the dream, the dream, the dream, the, the dream. It's a shark. It can't breathe. Panic attack. Some situations will make you panic. Flee the place as fast as you can. Oh shit. Okay. Uh, go, 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 go. No, damn it. I must find a way out of here. Uh, uh, uh. You're gonna be okay. Usually, fleeing is not the best option. Nope. Nope. Uh. Well, I can. I will. I will give you that this is an accurate depiction. Oh, shit. What the hell is going on here? Am I gonna pass out? It's getting louder and louder. I cannot see a thing. Alright, I'm getting somewhere, but I don't know where. Oh, shit. Okay, good. Crouch, crouch. Control. 
Normally, you don't run as fast as you can when you have a panic attack. You, you gather yourself, but I can understand why that was a bad idea. Is it... Is it my turn? Yes. It is time. You will soon be one of us. If your body and mind are ready. I dream of it every night. I have constant visions. I am ready. Good enough. Prove it to us. It's like in my dream. Yeah. Oh my god. Hi. It seems to have been used recently. Probably some sort of ritual. I found this... it's a dagger? In the tunnels under Hawkins Manor, its owner left it behind when he went with the other hooded men. Well, at least I have something to shank a bitch. Um... I can't read Latin. I'm not... this is not me. You who sleeps, accept this dreamer under your immortal wing. Ya Cthulhu Nithsiha Fitag. Grant him your flesh and accept his so that his body and yours may be one. Hard pass. Ibithnk, hupadk, kutulu bithnkor. Grant him your mind and accept his, so that his mind and yours may be one. Yeloig hupadk, kutulu loigna. Grant him your dreams oh, and accept moving? his, so that the paths of your souls finally intertwine. Your El Cthulhu Kashag. Let his soul guide you to us, just as your dreams guided it to you. Oh well. If I die, I die. Your El Cthulhu Bog. Junk. Hi, dude. Let your dreamers open the way so that the day finally comes when you will awaken. We are gonna do this my way. Hi! I an intruder! Here! There's somebody here! Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I just wanted to see what would happen, because up until that point, there has been no combat in this game whatsoever. So I am now going to flee the scene as fast as humanly possible. Okay, I saw stairs up, and we are out of here, sucker. Well, guys, this is another uh, hour and a half playthrough, so I am going to call it here. But if you guys um, want to check in next time, we will try and get out of this cave and pass the cultists. So, check you later. Bye! <laughs>